Hi there beautiful souls and welcome or welcome back to Coach Tarot. My name is Jane and we're going to be doing a little tarot reading for you. We are using the Chakra Wisdom Tarot deck today and we're just going to see whatever ooh, spirit wants to bring out for us. What is the vibe for you? Wow, wow, wow. We have an Ace of Cups to open out this reading. What else please spirit? We've got an Eight of Cups. A lot of caps energy, a lot of emotions here. Oh, and we've got the stars energy. Beautiful. So do see you, okay, walking away from anything that's not serving you right now, anything that's not bringing you complete satisfaction. There's a beautiful new opportunity on the horizon here for you, and it is a wish come true for you. It's something perhaps you've been dreaming about or something that you really have been desiring for quite some time. There's a beautiful glow up energy here for you as well. Is something I'm getting here. A lot going on within your heart space. A lot of heart healing perhaps for a lot of you here. I'm also hearing, okay, you're regaining your passion. You're regaining your passion for life. Regaining your passion for romance perhaps here. I do feel there is an opportunity, like I say, on the horizon here. And for many of you, this is a love offer with it being the Ace of Cups. Whatever this offer is, though, it is something that's going to bring you a lot of emotional satisfaction. I also feel there is a huge message here in regards to self-love. I feel that you are on this beautiful self-love journey. You are finally seeing yourself as what I'm hearing, as the star that you are, which is absolutely beautiful. Something you've been manifesting here is about to be brought to fruition for you. We have the Eight of Swords, I believe I just saw there. Eight of Swords, also oh, Nine of Swords, and we've got the King of Wands here. It could be something, okay, that you have been concerned about, worried about, okay, that maybe has been keeping you a little bit stuck, being as I was seeing it as the Eight of Swords. I feel there is a break in the cycle here. There is some form of information, some sort of clarity that you're gaining, okay, within the next 72 hours is what I'm hearing, that is actually setting you free here. I also feel for a lot of you, okay, there could be a fire sign around you, okay, who could be making this love offer towards you. And as I say, if it's not a love offer, it's an offer that's definitely going to make you feel really sunny and warm and lovely inside. Let's see what else, what else, please, Spirit. We've got the Eight of Pentacles here. Something you've been working towards, okay, this hasn't come from nowhere is what I'm getting. It's been an epic journey for you. You're coming to... The light at the end of the tunnel is something that's coming through here. And I definitely feel, okay, something you have been working towards, something that you've been putting a lot of time and effort in, is something that's being brought to you now. It's like you're seeing the rewards for all that hard effort. Maybe things, okay, have been a little bit slow, a little bit stagnant for you. And all of a sudden, okay, things are coming back to life. Kind of like how we're in Imbolic at the moment. I do feel there is this sort of midwinter feeling within you perhaps okay maybe you have been sort of in hibernation mode and now you're starting to come back to life you're starting to regain your passion is what I'm getting and these opportunities are being brought to you I believe your leadership qualities as well okay going to be highlighted for you for some of you you could be an entrepreneur you could be self-employed but I definitely feel there is this glow up energy here as well we've got the princess of coins here you could be learning new skills is another thing coming through here and the pages can be speaking about information, they can be speaking about messenger, messengers or messages, even I can't get my words out here. So somebody, okay, do feel has a message for you. I feel this is not a golden opportunity is what I'm being told. And again, I want to say for many, this is something you've been manifesting or you've been working towards already. We've got the Four of Pentacles and we've also got the Seven of Swords here. I am getting here, okay, sudden shift, okay. I do feel perhaps maybe there has been something that you've been holding on to very tightly. Something that deep down inside perhaps you knew wasn't fully serving you. And there has been this reluctance to let go. What I'm getting again is that you're breaking this cycle. You are setting yourself free. I also feel, okay, there is progression within your finances. I actually see the magician at the bottom of the deck at the moment. You are the creator. You are the manifester. There could be this realisation within you. But I definitely feel you have all the tools, okay, you need to achieve what it is your heart truly desires. I also feel, okay, for some of you, there is this realisation, this deeper understanding of exactly what it is you choose or you want to choose in life for yourself. I feel there's a redirection here as well for a lot of you. Let's get a few more before we get you some oracles. 
We've got the Five of Cups here. We've got the Four of Swords. And we've got the Beautiful Justice card here for you. Balance being restored within your life for sure here. I want to say, okay, that there could have been something, okay, you've been feeling disappointed about something that hasn't worked out in your favour, that has maybe brought you to this hermit mode, this purposeful pause for some deep healing, this energy of self-love again being reflected here. And as I say, balance being restored here, justice. This card, okay, is showing us that there's a new karmic cycle coming for you. A karmic cycle, okay, that is going to be more fair, more aligned with your divine truth is something I'm getting here. Libra's energy, Aquarius's energy could be significant for some of you here as well. I'm also hearing Aries and Leo as well. We've got the Six of Swords and we've got the High Priestess here. You know the way forward. Deep down inside, you know exactly which is the right direction for you. You could be spending time in meditation, getting this deeper understanding of yourself. I also feel like your intuition is absolutely on fire. It is on point there for you. With the Six of Swords, we see a beautiful transition here. From choppy waters into much calmer seas. Taking those beautiful, valuable lessons that you've learnt through difficult cycles and taking them to a calmer space. Space. I feel okay there is this idea of um, I'm seeing a turtle so turtle spirit could be significant for you but this slow but steady progress to sort of like a promised land is what I'm getting where things are really sweet I also feel okay your family life is going to be highlighted here as well okay I do feel there is um, a significant balance coming towards you as well within all of your relationships perhaps things haven't exactly been equal or balanced in relationships and that beautiful balance is coming in here for you we do at the bottom of the deck okay have the beautiful empress energy here divine feminine energy present here and with this okay again libra's energy taurus energy could be significant this is the beautiful glow up energy. It's divine feminine energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. We've all got that beautiful feminine energy within us. It is this energy of receiving, it's abundance, it's unconditional love here. And again, we see this cup being presented. And I feel for many of you, okay, you're accepting your own cup of love. You're loving yourself like you've never loved yourself before. You're accepting yourself fully and wholly. And it's actually being reflected back to you. It's absolutely beautiful. And I feel mermaids could be significant on a side note for some of you as well. Let us now get some oracle cards. I was going to use the Love Divine oracle cards, but I'm being guided to use this deck here interesting because we've got justice at the bottom of the deck just notice 707 could be a significant number for you so again libra's energy okay but definitely this balance in energy justice being brought to you and i feel it is being brought to you okay after as i say a difficult cycle you're walking away you're setting yourself free okay you're finally recognizing yourself for who you truly are and it's absolutely beautiful we have the spell of Aphrodite's love spell here. So love is in the air. Again, I want to say it's beautiful self-love, okay? It's being reflected back to you. We've got the justice. So definitely feeling this vibe of balance being restored. Justice, finally. For some of you, okay, if you have got a court case or important matters to be dealing with, mm -hmm. this is a sign, okay, things are going to be working out in your favour. Absolutely beautiful. And we've also got knowledge here with card number 28. These numbers could be significant to you, but this inner knowledge, this knowing that you have deep within yourself is what I'm getting. This T as well, okay, I do feel, okay, you are going to be hearing the T about somebody soon, okay, so that's a little side note for you. Picnics, perhaps even carpet picnics could be significant here. But I'm also getting, okay, again, you could be learning new skills, new ways of doing things, definitely new ways of seeing yourself, which is absolutely glorious. With Harvest at the bottom of the deck, card 47. No, 43. I don't know why I said 47. That could be significant for some of you here. But yeah, reaping what you have been sown after letting go. Beautiful with this harmony and passion being brought back into your life, perhaps after a long time, okay, but definitely things coming to fruition for you here. There's very abundant energy available to you after you set yourself free, my beautiful souls. Have a beautiful day and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.